Has anyone seen my oscilloscope pen? <laughs> beep! 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 Cece! Where did you get that? You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Here. <laughs> she didn't mean to upset you, Frankie. <sighs> I know. She's just learning by exploring her environment. It's a sign of genius. I don't believe I tried to eat my first oscilloscope until I was four. <laughs> Incredible. I've never seen a child grasp sequencing that fast. Both of our daughters are growing up to be quite accomplished. Quite right. How's the travel mug heart monitor coming, Frankie? <gasps> Amazing. I built an electrocardiogram into the handle so you can actually see what a jolt your coffee gives you. My data shows... <laughs> I'll tell you later, Dad. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Oh, Cece tried to eat my equipment again and ruined breakfast. It's so frustrating. I love her, but sometimes she's really hard to like. I totally understand. I grew up with Cade, remember? Where are you? With Blades. He's racing Heat Wave to see who's a faster rescuer. And losing Blades Hustle. I am. Whose idea was it to do this in bot mode? Someone said I could run circles around you, Heat Wave. I didn't mean run, run. There's a target. Go straight. Nope, we're going up. Frankie, can I call you back? Look out! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's a little hook in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Cullen is not going to be happy. Neither will Chief. We have to stop that rocket. Heatwave, the fire's spreading. Use your foam sprayers. I didn't load up before we left. This was only supposed to be a fake emergency. We need to evacuate those houses and call for backup. And move the rocket before it catches fire and explodes. That I can do. Everyone get to safety. Help is already on the way. Remember, children, public safety is in your hands, so make sure you wash them thoroughly. Oh, pardon me, pupils. This is Chase. Go ahead. There's a rocket fuel fire at Mr. Collins' house. We need fire extinguishers fast. Copy that. My apologies. I must cut my career day presentation short. Three hours barely touches the surface of law enforcement. Thank goodness. Oh, Okie dokie. Now that everyone has read A Tale of Two Cities, who would like to start the discussion? Mr. Boulder, we ask that everyone turn their phones off during book club, if you please. Sorry, Miss Lima. I'll be quick. Boulder, where are you? We've got an emergency downtown. It was the best of timing. It was the worst of timing. Be right there, Heatwave. Keep away from the fire. Away. I think people would know that. Heatwave, I have supplies. Power up and energize.
piece the fires out. But at what cost? Not our finest hour. I guess I shouldn't ask who won the rescue race, huh? No. Thanks to us, everybody lost. Let me get this straight. You set up a race downtown in the middle of the day to show your fan clubs who's a faster rescuer? When you say it out loud, it really sounds like a bad idea. Look, I know you're excited to fit in with the townsfolk, but that doesn't mean neglecting your rescue duties. It's fine to have hobbies, we all do, but the job comes first. Sorry, Chief. We'll clean up the damage, and it won't happen again. Thank you, Heatwave. Don't feel bad, guys. Balancing a social life and a job is even hard for humans. Well, it won't be a problem for us, because from now on, we're only focusing on our mission. To learn from the humans? <sighs> to protect them, and train other rescue bots to do it, too. Boulder? Have you figured out what's wrong with the new ground bridge yet? No. Doc's coming to look at it when I'm done with book club. I mean, uh, I'll call him now. I don't understand it. All the settings are correct. This device should go straight to the mainland. Maybe we should try to replicate what went wrong last time. All we did was turn it on. Here goes. Wait, who knows where that portal leads to? Let's send someone more expendable. Go dither. Host? Uh, maybe later. Go through there. Now, let's see what Dither sees. He's at the mainland training center. Dither, come back. It worked. Maybe we'd better give it a few more tries, just in case. You heard the bot, Dither. He went to the right place every time. Perhaps the desert incident was simply a one-time bot. And not the good kind, like a honeybee. I'll let the team know. Hey, Frankie, the ground bridge is working again. Want to come see? Wish I could, but I'm babysitting. Bye-bye. Oh, Cece, why can't you play with your toys? Oh, you better thank your brothers and sister for what they had to put up with when you were little. If you're sure the bridge is ready, I'll test it out. From what we've observed, there's a 99.9% .9 chance it'll work. And a 0.1% chance it won't. I'm just saying. Then I too shall be a guinea hog. It's guinea pig, Chase. But good idea for two of you to go. Rescue bots. Roll to the mainland. Or perhaps not Maine at all. Ah! Those rails will not hold that car much longer. Then we save lives now and explain later. Is back. Let's go. Definitely not fixed. As my fellow robot said, that is correct. Chase, why are you talking like Someone followed the bots through the portal. Hello, I'm Police Chief Burns. I know it sounds strange, but I think our technology accidentally brought you here. Uh, why don't you step outside? Hello? Hello? <gasps> By Mendel's Peapods! There's nobody there! The driver must have exited his vehicle to assist with the rescue. Then the bridge pulled the car in after us. 
like the camel from the desert. Only we can't take this to the zoo. What do we do with it? I'll see if I can find the owner from the plate records. For now, I don't want anybody using this tech till we know what's wrong. If you need to go to the mainland, use the ferry. There's plenty to keep us busy here, like rescue drills in the garage. Let's go. Oh. It's time to get serious about our jobs. From now on, we only leave this place for emergencies. I guess we could start our own book club here at the firehouse. You'll be lucky if you have time to read anything. From now on, we're doing double patrols. Outstanding. Thank Primus for DVR. Everyone, grab a lobbing ball. We're doing burpees. Heat wave. This is the 20th time I've flown around the island. There are no emergencies. Then fly around 21 times. We're not going back to the firehouse until we find one. Boulder, report. Any action in your part of town? Nothing. I even went to fix the leaky fire hydrant on Chestnut, but somebody already had. It is surprisingly quiet out. Even Don is obeying the speed limit. Keep patrolling. It's Griffin Rock. Something's bound to happen soon. <sighs> Thanks for keeping me company, Cody. Babysitting can be kind of stressful. No problem, Frankie. It sounded like you could use a break. Oh, definitely. I am so over diaper changing. But CC can be fun sometimes, too. Yesterday, I taught her the twos times tables. Seriously? CC, what's two times five? Wow, she really is a baby genius. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to teach her multivariable calculus. Did you see that? Yeah. Whoever's driving that sports car is pretty brave. That's the thing. Last time I saw that car, it didn't have a driver. Griffin Rock emergency. Graham, can you check if the car that came through the ground bridge is still there? Where else would it be? I think we just saw it downtown. Hold on, I'll check. You were right, the car's gone. Someone must have stolen it. At least they haven't left the island yet. I'll call Dad. Heatwave, I have spotted a vehicle that is double parked. Now that's an emergency. At this point, it kind of is. Nice find, Chase. Take care of it. The sports car from the bridge. What? It's there? And it has beaten me to the sugary fruit drink. Don't let it leave. We're coming. Thank you for your assistance, citizen. Please pull over. Cold turkey. I suspect foul play. Get back to the firehouse team. Our ground bridge stowaway is missing and I want answers. I checked our security cameras. Nobody entered or left the firehouse last night. Uh, except the car. Somebody must have driven it out of one of the underground tunnels. That wouldn't show up on camera. But I thought you said there was no one inside of it. Not when we looked, but maybe they were hiding. Or maybe the car is remote controlled. What if it's Dr. Morocco? Quick, everyone look for an M logo somewhere. Why would Morocco move double parked cars? So far, this driver's only done good things. Except run away when told to stop, and hide from us, and spy long enough to learn our secret. I want everyone out looking for that car. Something strange is going on and- Dad, we really need your help. What is it, son? Cece figured out how to reprogram her hover stroller, and we don't know where she went. Cece! 
Tell Frankie not to worry. We'll find her sister right away. Thanks, Dad. We'll keep looking, too. Uh, Cece's too smart for her own good. I should have been more careful. Wait! Frankie, I see her. She's headed into the bank. Can you open the vault? Oh no! Security mode is engaged! Doc Green designed the lock so that nobody can override it! Daddy, Cece hacked her stroller and locked herself in the bank vault. We can't get her out. I'm really, really sorry. I know you are, Frankie. And it's not your fault. But how did she learn the lock code in the first place? I made it a very difficult pattern of colors and sounds. The same pattern you used when you created Cece's toy? Uh, oh my. I believe the scientific term for that is oops. Don't worry, Doc. Help just got here. Hurry, she's in there. You have to break down the door. Time to embrace your inner wreckers. On three. Three. Power up and energize! I have heard an Earth tale about a door that unlocked when told, Open Sesame. Open says me! Cece? Cece! Where is she? Look! Cece must have gone out that way. She can dig tunnels, too? That baby's smart and strong. No toddler cut through five feet of solid metal. Ow! It's still hot. Boulder, can you tell where the tunnel ends? Of course, Chief. <laughs> it's the parking garage on Maple Street. Blades, heat wave. I want you guarding that place above ground. Boulder, you're with me and Chase. Let's move, team. Did you hear all that, Doc? We'll meet you there. We're in place, Dad. Head in slowly. We're just about to come through the tunnel. Well, well. Two mysteries meeting in the same place. Wait. You think Cece's in that car? But why? How? I just have a hunch. Odd. I've always thought Chief has excellent posture. <laughs> Cece! Oh, I'm never letting you out of my sight again, even if you ruin a hundred of my experiments. You're the best result I could hope for. I guess it's a pinky! Come on, let's go see Mom and Dad. But who made the tunnel? And how did Cece get in that car? And where can I get one? What? Those are some sweet wheels. Too bad the driver got away before we could question him. What if the car is the driver? You mean, like a bot? Please, don't you think we'd know if we saw one? We all have pretty obvious markings. I'm Heatwave, leader of the rescue bots. Identify yourself. I'm waiting. Wait, what? Rescue bot? I suspect what a highly oh, unexpected noble. turn of events. A marking. Now will you identify yourself? You may call me Quick Shadow. So you're Heatwave. Hmm. Expected someone a little taller. You might want to shut those gobs. I hear this place has flobsters. Wouldn't want one flying right in, would we? Quick Shadow, I'm Chief Burns. Welcome to Griffin Rock. My only question is, why didn't you introduce yourself to us sooner? Not that we mind your help with the rescue. Sorry if I stepped on any toes. I was monitoring your town's cameras. When I saw the little girl get trapped, I had to act. As you did when you saw the car go over the bridge. It's what I do. I'm a solo agent, special ops, and used to working undercover, I'm afraid. I wanted to learn more about you all before I met you, even though Optimus said- You know Optimus too? Why didn't he tell us that? You know how primes are. He's the one who sent me here. Sent you? 
From what I saw, you hitched a ride on our ground bridge. Yes, I called it to me. Apologies for the dreadful places we kept meeting. The desert, especially. I thought I saw you there. Wait, you're the reason the ground bridge didn't work? Oh, it worked. I simply hijacked it whenever I could. Special tech Optimus loaned me. Yeah, I bet. Which is exactly why Optimus didn't just tell us about you. Ah, sarcasm. You'd be Cade, then. You know who we are? It was all part of my mission briefing. And what exactly is your mission? That is a tale in the telling. Well, as comfortable as this parking garage is, what do you say we head back to the firehouse? Sounds like this is gonna take a long time to sort out. Guess she doesn't need directions. You wanna ride with us, Cody? I'll meet you at home, Dad. So, maybe baby sisters or brothers aren't so bad? Ask me again when I'm picking cream corn out of my hair. <laughs> it's true. Cece has been quite a change for our family. But that doesn't modify our love for you. DNA of my heart? I know, Daddy. That's what it means to be a family. Plus the second law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the universe tends to a maximum. Um, that is, change is constant. I'm pretty sure the rescue bots would agree. Police log entry 1178. Yet another errant trip through the ground bridge found Heatwave and myself in a perilous situation. Before we could step in, a remarkable vehicle appeared and was used to perform a daring, if not entirely protocol-friendly, rescue. Then, to our surprise, this mysterious vehicle followed us back through the ground bridge, where, to our greater surprise, there was no driver. It wasn't until the vehicle extricated young C.C. Green from inside a bank vault that the truth was revealed. The vehicle is a rescue bot known as Quick Shadow. She claims she was sent by Optimus. I will conclude this report once I have the results of a search I am conducting of Cybertronian records regarding our visitor. Ah, and here they are now. Well, this is disconcerting. No mention of anyone named Quick Shadow in the entire database. Apparently, she is an imposter. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's like a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Fighters remain robust in disguise. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Humans in need, our heroes indeed. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Rescue bots. This is the bunker. It's where we'll have your welcome party. Humans have these great things called piñatas, where you take a stick I'm and... really not fond of parties. <laughs> you two should get along fine. We'll see. How many more rescue bots are out there? Even we haven't heard of her till now. And I have discovered why. She is a mountebank, a fraud. She is not a rescue bot at all. What? Really? What? She has the insignia. Did I just say that? <laughs> Wherever did you get that idea? I find no record of you in the Rescue Bot database. Aw, okay, okay, party is off. I'm keeping the pinata. I'm in the database. You simply need to know which name to search. On this mission, I was known as Slipchain. My cover name here was Bootlatch. Hmm, forgot this one. Overdrive, I believe. So you were a robot in disguise in disguise? Like a secret agent? That's rather romanticizing it, but yes. Delicate missions, tricky situations, get in, get out quickly. Working alone, that's my speciality. Sounds like a spy movie. That's where I've seen you. The Maven Danger secret agent flicks. Twice tomorrow? The spy with the golden diamond? He drives his souped up Ostley Benton? So that was you in the movies? Me, an actress. Eh, but yes, I did indeed scan that very vehicle. Optimus arranged it. Noble! Maybe you can give us all a ride later? 
I beg your pardon? I hardly know you. Things are a little different here. Humans and bots, all part of the same team. Our partners ride with us. And we are proud to have them. Hmm, not quite sure I'm up to that yet. I'm used to working alone. Why all the covert missions? There are certain Cybertronians out there who can't be trusted. The fewer people who know about me, the better. Optimus insisted that my real name never be used. Until now, apparently. He gave me new orders to seek you out and work with you. Yay, finally, another girl on the team. Whoa, hold on, nobody said anything about that. Heatwave, don't be so rude. I don't want to join your team. Quick Shadow, don't be so rude. Oh, so we're not good enough for you. No need to get huffy. It simply isn't why the Prime sent me. Greetings, Quick Shadow. Your new mission is to travel to Griffin Rock, find the rescue bots, and help them. With all due respect to the Prime, we don't need any assistance, thanks. That's not what he meant. Watch. While they are an expert team, I feel that you can teach them how to become even better. What? Ho oh, ho! And kabam! By sharing your expertise gained from working alone, you can help each of them become a team of one. Wait, how can it be a team if there's- I'll explain later. Well, if Optimus says so, it's good enough for me. I agree. Continued training is never a waste of time. Okay, party's back on. Anyone want to ask me what I- Ah, here you are. Heatwave, I need the help of your team. Morning to you too, Doc. Wait, this human knows about you? Everybody in Griffin Rock does. That was Optimus's idea as well. Doc, this is Quick Shadow. She's visiting. Heatwave doesn't like her. Wait, I never said How I... How can we help, Doc? I'm expecting a shipment via the ground bridge. But once it arrives here at the firehouse, I'll need help getting it to the lab. And, uh, Jerry, the truck driver's on vacation? I'm not sure Jerry is up to the task. The cargo is three crates of the highly volatile chemical Photolite. If it's jostled at all... It could produce acid clouds. Toxic, hard to get rid of. Photolite's pretty dangerous. Griffin Rock emergency. All right, Ernie, we'll be right there. Transport plans will have to wait, Doc. There's a small fire at the gas station downtown. Let's go before it's a big fire. A perfect opportunity to watch us in action. And for us to learn from you. Thanks, but I'll just keep my lips zipped and observe for now. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Roll to the rescue? <laughs> That's a bit silly, isn't it? It's Heatwave's catchphrase. Don't you have one? I always find that silence and a successful mission speak volumes. I don't think that'll catch on. Let's make sure Ernie's okay. I will scour the premises. Lake Street is closed. Please, Please clear the area. area. Did you find those schematics, Cody? Forwarding them to you now. Looks like the shutoff valve is right underneath you. Got it. Thanks, Cody. Is there some sort of overall plan? It looks all rather higgledy-piggledy, doesn't it? Maybe from here. But that's just because everybody's so good at what they do. <gasps> Ernie, we'll, we'll get you checked out. I thought she was only observing. Blades and Danny said they had things under control. It didn't look that way. Sorry, instinct, I suppose. 
Extraction is what I'm trained for. And one does what one can, doesn't one? One what? And why does she ask questions like that? Is it me, or does she talk funny? So, what do you think? Was that a rescue, or was that a rescue? Not exactly how I would have handled it, but I'm happy to share my thoughts with the team. Shall we say, an hour? Well, this should be good. Hey guys, what's going- Shh! I'm watching the bots get schooled. Who is the most important member of the team? Well, Heatwave is the leader. But we are equals when it comes to completing rescues. <laughs> That's easy. I am. I heard that. And you're correct. He's the most important? Did he hey? pay you? Um, no offense, ma'am, but maybe you should get to know him better. Each one of you should answer the question that same way. I am. Every one of you needs to think they are the most valuable. It's only as an individual that you can succeed, which in turn makes the team successful. So after all this time, it turns out there is an I in team? I'll have to take down that poster. With all due respect, ma'am, I'm not sure I agree. A team isn't just a collection of individuals. It can become something greater, bigger than the sum of its parts. And that's what we have here. We count on each other. We know that someone's always watching our back. I understand, but if everyone assumes that everyone else has their back, well, eventually one gets careless. But if you perform your task as well as you can, you'll never need to depend on anyone else. Trust issues. My challenge to each of you is to determine what you alone do best and improve it. Wait, so I'm not the most important? Sulking, are we? Don't know about you. I'm training. <laughs> Practicing <laughs> what I do best. Please don't take all this personally. Obviously, Optimus must think I have something to contribute. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Good. Then you won't mind my pointing out your stance is off. <laughs> Shoulda known. You're an expert at martial arts, too. Care to have a go? I am disappointed. I do not believe disagreements should be settled physically. Nobody's getting hurt. They're just testing each other. Uh-oh. She shouldn't have done that. Nice move. You're quite a good opponent. Let's spar again sometime, shall we? You okay? Yeah, she won fair and square. That's not what's bothering me. It's the way she always asks questions, right? Because that's what bothers me. Does Optimus really think we need all this retraining? <sighs> I must have let him down as leader. I'm sure that's not it, Heatwave. Remember when he sent High Tide to teach you? It was also so he could learn from you. Attention, team. Doc's packages will come through the ground bridge in an hour. Let's meet and discuss how we're going to transport them. <sighs> Great. Another chance for Quick Shadow to tell us what we're doing wrong. Then... why not let her show you how she'd do the mission? Heatwave has magnanimously asked me to take point on this mission. In the spirit of sharing my experience, I have accepted. So, I've been watching playback of your rescues, and I have a good feeling not only for who's good at what, but also unfulfilled potential. I'll be handing out assignments accordingly. Boulder and I designed this trailer to transport the crates safely. Salvage and Blur are building it on the mainland. Two sets of electromagnetic shocks and a self-adjusting gyroscopic frame to assure stability as we take it through town. Very impressive. I knew you'd come through, but you won't be pulling it. Your assignment is to lead the caravan. The route is on this tablet. You will ensure it's clear of traffic and other obstacles. Then who will take the trailer? Well, that's not really your concern, is it? Just do your job perfectly and the mission will be a success. 
There's a specially designed trailer for the cargo that you'll be pulling. Why us? Because, in spite of your reputations as risk takers, I know you're both capable and careful. You're the best ones for the most dangerous job. All right then, what's the route? You don't need to know. Just follow Boulder and everything will go smoothly. I know that nothing gets past the two of you, so you're on perimeter patrol. Make sure traffic is diverted off the main route to these side streets. But I do not see the main route marked on this map. Nor should you. As I said, your job is the side streets. I need the two of you to keep a sky eye on the big picture. Cody and I will do the same from the command center. Here's the route the caravan will take. What if something goes wrong? It won't. You'll spot problems before they occur and prevent them, as I know you always do. Well, usually. Rescue bots? No, 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 no! One at a time, please. Everyone to their own task. Spit spot! <sighs> Don't worry, Heatwave. We can say it to ourselves. And there will be no direct communication. Stay focused on your task. And if necessary, check in through the command center. Okay, bye. Cody, the intersection of Lake and Chaucer is still open. We're getting a few stragglers turning onto the route. I'll let Dad know. Trailer's working great. Code, let Boulder and Graham know they did a nice job. Unnecessary communication. Save the compliments for later. Gotta say, this is running pretty smoothly. As far as we know, with no direct communication, we cannot assume otherwise. Wait, wait. What is that? It's just Mr. Harrison, probably on his way to work. Too much of a risk. He has to be dealt with. Blades, Danny, we have a breach of the airspace above the route. She means Mr. Harrison. We're on it. Mr. Mr. Harrison, you need to take another route. Follow us, please. Oh! Oh! I'm okay! Heatwave, look out for the... Slow them. down! Oh, no. Ah, we lost a crate. It's leaking. We have to stop. No, we still have two crates to deliver. We stay on mission. The rest of the team can deal with that one. Cody, let Quick Shadow know. I mean, ask her if that's acceptable. Acknowledged and affirmed, Heatwave. Quick Shadow, can we open the comm lines? It'd be a lot better if everybody could talk to each other. Agreed. Get everyone on. We have a situation. One of the crates is down at... Russell, off first, and it's leaking. I know you don't like to share information, but what's our plan B? Which of us did you assign to it? Actually, no one. My focus was on getting the crates there safely, not what would happen if they didn't. Okay, team, let's improvise. If I may, Chief, there is no need. I consulted with Dr. Green before we left, and we have a plan in place for this contingency. What? But I didn't... As you suggested, I played to my strength. Caution. I would never embark on a mission without a backup plan. So Dr. Green is developing a chemical spray to neutralize the cargo's toxins. Nice work, partner. Heatwave, this is no longer a routine transport, and handling the unexpected seems to be what your team does best. I'll head to the lab to pick up that chemical, if you'll take command. Happy to. Cody, can you direct Quick Shadow over to docks? Looks like you'll get your ride after all. Boulder, get back to the accident site. We'll finish the delivery. I'll send you the route info now. Attention, Attention. Stay, stay in your homes. Repeat, repeat. 
Everyone, stay in your houses until further notice. Not much we can do until Doc's neutralizer gets here. We should make sure there's no more spillage from the crate. I'm on it. Sorry, Mr. Watkins. I'll be back later to replace it. Quick, Shadow, open your trunk. Sorry, my what? Your trunk? Your back end. Oh, my boot. Why didn't you say so? <clears throat> We have the neutralizer and we're on our way. Danny, plates, I need a lift. Now, all we need to do is... Dear me, I neglected to bring a disperser. Then how do we spray it? Leave that to me. You aim high, I'll go low. You're gonna help? That is how teams work, isn't it? Team. And I mean everybody. It's rather nice chipping in, having someone's back, and trusting that they have yours. Occasionally. And it didn't hurt to practice our own skills. Make sure we're doing the best job we can for the group. Thanks for the reminder. It would be an honor to have you on the team. You're more than welcome to make it permanent. I'm sure you have a few more things to teach us. I'm so confused. Is the party on or off? Thank you. But I think it's obvious that you don't need me. As Chief said, a team is more than just a collection of individuals. Thank you for showing me that and letting me be a part of it. But what about your mission? It isn't over yet. I'm headed to the training center on the mainland to work with the bots there. You mean salvage and blur? <laughs> Good luck with that. Kick his tailpipe for us, will you?